sliding. I see you niggas. I see you niggas, man. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm back, nigga. Man, fuck with your boy and your fan 007. G, mummy, pissfan12, gmail.com. Check it out. We on Twitter now. And fan 007. What up, niggas? You good? Man, I'm good. I'm alive. I'm breathing, man. Shout out the whole Angry Fan movement. Yo, check this shit out. Before we even get started, I want to give a big rest in peace to Stack Bundles. You know it's the anniversary of his death. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Stack was that nigga. Don't act like he wasn't this shit. You know what I'm saying? He was killing Desert Storm and the Clue mixtapes. He was killing Bird Gang when he was fucking with them set. Like, let me know if y'all niggas fuck with Stack. That nigga was underrated as shit. He used to talk that hood shit for real. You know what I'm saying? That's real fucked up what happened. Shout out to everybody in Far Rockaway. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Rest in peace, Stack. Also, big shout to everybody in Virginia. Virginia Battleground, Seven City Shark. They had a dope ass event, you know what I'm saying, last week. And also, shout out to uh, NCBL, North Carolina Battle League. Crazy event. A lot of dope ass battles, a lot of competitiveness in there. Uh, every, a lot of unit. I'm taking five minutes to get from one side of the room to the other. There was people everywhere out that motherfucker. A lot of support out there, a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? My next blog, I'll recap that. Shout out to everybody in Virginia and shit. I wanted to put this shit up first so I could watch some of the um the other Virginia battlers, battles and shit, so I could talk about them a little bit more extent and shit. Because it was my first time seeing a lot of these niggas, you know what I'm saying, real shit. But the event was fire. Shout out to Ill Lyric, fucking Roller, Squeako, you know what I'm saying, Cashflow, Ridgey. Like, the shit was dope out there and shit. But um, shout out to the whole VA. Yo, let me tell you about these niggas MC Wars real quick, you know what I'm saying? These niggas are crazy. These niggas hit me on Twitter talking about... They got the pay-per-view for the battles for $10. So you niggas fucking jerk that sleeve. You niggas shut down on Fredro and them niggas and bone crushing them niggas. You know what I'm saying? You didn't pay a lot of Zay. You got the nerve to be on Twitter trying to sell the motherfucking battles for $10. Y'all niggas are crazy, my nigga. Like, I don't even get it. And then a lot of Zay peoples came on and motherfucking um, uh, uh, Ness Lee came on was going back and forth with them. That whole shit was crazy. I don't even understand how you could not pay these niggas but turn around and still be trying... I understand you trying to make bread because now you're just sitting on battles. But that shit is just weird, my nigga. But do me a favor. Don't tweet me, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that shit. Like, I'm not paying no $10 for that bullshit right there. Fuck that. You don't even pay these niggas. Why the fuck would I support you? That, that doesn't make no fucking sense at all right there and shit. That's crazy. I just want to put that... Them niggas are bugging me. I just want to put that shit out there. You know what I'm saying? Hit my description box. I got motherfucking Super Black versus motherfucking Mark Myron. Oh, uh, Mac Myron and that motherfucker, man. Like, yo... And you niggas know Mac Myron's not a fucking bum, you know what I'm saying? He ain't. The nigga's nice and shit. If you look at the end of his first round, he was flipping the uh, black name, Super Black, Black Super. He was going off at the end of first round. That's the only round I got debatable. I think Super Black clearly won this shit. Let me know what you think about this nigga. In my opinion, this nigga's nice. He got bars. He just got to slow down and work on his uh his, his performance and delivery. And that's about it, my nigga. The bars are there. He got over the head bars. He's like M City in a way. He reminds me of XL. And um, H.A. Double, when they first came out, they, they all had bars, but they were just going with it. But now they're saying they had to get into it and, and see what they had to work on. I think that's all he got to work on. He is nice, my nigga, in my opinion. Y'all niggas watch the fucking battle. Y'all niggas looking at me like I'm bugging and shit. Watch the battle. Let me know what you think about this nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's a big name in Alabama. Keep it real. You don't, you don't hear nobody uh, coming from Alabama and shit. So it's like the niggas trying to put on for the whole fucking state and shit. Let me know what you think about this nigga. I think the nigga's fire. I just got to keep it real true. Shout out to Crown in itself, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. Like, your niggas got a whole bunch of new subscribers. The niggas is fucking with you, niggas. I see that shit. Shout out to Benny and everybody out there. Show T, I see you, niggas, man. Real shit. Fire ass battle. It could have been better on Mac Myron part. The nigga was fucking choking and shit. The nigga think he won for some reason. So we were trying to tell the nigga he ain't win this battle and shit. You niggas let me know if you think the nigga won or not, you know what I'm saying? I got that in my description box. Also, I got uh Danny Myers dropped a new blog. Let me clear something up real quick, too. This is not no, no, uh, uh, Bash one person type thing, you know what I'm saying? Niggas really was just speaking their mind. That's really about it and shit. So that's so Danny Myers, I guess, is speaking his mind. I'm pretty much done with that shit. Now I said what I had to say and shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's how, that's for angry fans. Really. That's really how we feel. We're not really too beat to be going back and forth with niggas and shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's how I feel about that. Let me know what you think about that niggas blog. And shout out to Danny. Shout out to Danny Myers. I didn't see the blog yet, but I did see the intro. You in the garage throwing shit at the door and shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit is dope right there. So shout out to Danny Myers for that. You know what I'm saying? From my understanding, him versus. I think Verb is dropping Monday. Hey yo, shout out to Cortez, man. Cortez hit me on Twitter, told me out, it's mighty funny. I'm quiet now since, cause you heard Cortez had a dope ass battle versus Danny Myers. I'm hearing he probably got Danny's. What I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. Cortez shut me the fuck up. He did. He shut me the fuck up. I'm not gonna front. You know what I'm saying? And his battle versus YK is crazy. I'm gonna talk about that that next blog too. But all right, Cortez, I see you. All right, my nigga, you ain't have to tweet me like that. I got you, man. I got you, man. Shout out to Cortez, though, real shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
Let's talk about it. Bridge versus Dot. All right, I'm going to tell you right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, did you really think Dot was going to beat Bridge? I see a couple of niggas saying Dot won, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep real true. I don't see how they can say that. But here's the thing about, about Dot. Dot actually hit me up in shit too, and like, Dot know not to play no more motherfucking games, you know what I'm saying? He said he actually needed that ass kicking from Briz. Now it woke him the fuck up, because that's not a good look to see a nigga get killed. But you really can't get too crazy with Dot. The nigga just made fucking BET in no time, you know what I'm saying? He, it's not like all his battles is like that. If you look, I actually blogged on Dot when he battled Million Dollar Cash, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a dope-ass battle and shit. Dot doesn't always reach wild, crazy and shit, but this particular battle... A lot of times, you, Dot, you be building up, and they don't go no fucking where sometimes. Like, you just be rapping, it seems like. I mean, a lot of some shit don't, don't, it don't sound right. It don't, I mean, I don't know what the fuck you be doing, but I, I knew Briz was going to want to be honest with you and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I fuck with Dot still, though. I think a, a lot of niggas got to gotta work on performance and shit like that. Dot don't got to do that shit. If anything, he just got to work on bars. His delivery, his performance, I mean, he got a fan base off of that shit, and his bars ain't really, really, really there yet. So, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna kill Dot. I, I wanna see what Dot does now that he's got killed. So I'm very anxious to see Dot next battle. I'm pretty sure he's gonna step it the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But um Briz, Briz is just tough right there. Did you hear that machete line, my nigga? Like Briz is like his aggression be crazy sometimes, man. They look like he, he was on some Pac-Man shit. He Pac-Man. Dot was like a dot literally, and he's gonna eat that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Pause for you niggas out there and shit. But it was crazy. Shout out to everybody in St. Louis too. Don't get it fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I heard about the cops uh Shot, shot 20 old 16 times in the back. I just want to know what the fuck happened to tasing somebody or giving a nigga a leg shot. You going to shoot a nigga 16 times in the back? That's crazy. I think them niggas out there is uh, pushing St. Louis' hand, my nigga. Like, they forced them niggas to, like, really come back, it seems like. I don't know, man. All you niggas in St. Louis, y'all niggas hold y'all fucking head. Shout out to Oops, too, because I know you be out there and shit showing love and shit, you know what I'm saying, and uh, uh, protesting and shit like that. Because they still doing all of that out there in St. Louis. You just don't hear about that shit, you know what I'm saying? All you niggas be careful about this Ebola running around too. I mean, this shit is crazy out this motherfucker. Y'all be safe out there. Now, Shotgun Shug versus Sharon. Check it out. Yesterday, I clearly had a Sharon 3-zip. Clearly, you know what I'm saying? I, I would have thought you was shooting up orange juice and ODing on that shit if I thought you said Shug won. I'm going to keep it real with you. I watched it a couple more times. Now, that's how I'm going to look at it. I'm, I'm going to explain like this. I don't want to break down all the bars and shit. Um, if you a street nigga, you like that street nigga rap, I can see why you're gonna say Shook won. Because in all reality, Shook was cooking all three rounds. Like, Shook has stepped his game up. He stepped his bars up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, his aggression always been there and shit, but he stepped it up. You know what I'm saying? If you like all around, but I still, for me personally, I like all around battle rap. I'm a Shook fanatic though, so it's just like, damn, I really wanna give it to Shook, cause like, Shook is going hard body right now. But I gotta be real true, like, some of the, the white angles, after the while, them shit really got played out to me. It got real redundant, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's an awkward matchup to fucking begin with. I want to see Suge battle other bullies like Suge, you know what I'm saying? That makes more sense than to watch Suge battle somebody like Sharon. Sharon is fucking freestyling. Half the shit that uh, is rebuttaling and freestyling. Half the shit that Suge says, you know what I'm saying? He's joking on him. What did he do? Suge pocket tapped him as water fell. He turns around and throws to Nas nigga tell him to go to McDonald's. Like, it was just weird. You got Suge bullying him. You know what I'm saying? But he's throwing haymakers and punches. Don't get it fucked up. I think Sharon was very corny in a lot of shit that he said, too. Me, personally, I gave it to, uh, I gave it to Sharon the first two rounds, and I gave Shook the third round. I really didn't like Sharon's third round. I think that shit was kind of weak, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, just to be honest with you, the first round could actually be just a tad bit debatable, but I, I still ex Sharon. Yo, let me tell you something what was different also about this battle. I think this battle might have been way closer if fucking Sharon had went first, my nigga. With Sharon going second, it was just like, I really didn't see Shook beating this nigga. He would have had to come with some crazy ass shit. I know a lot of you niggas think Sharon is corny and shit, the corny white boy, but it's just like, my nigga, like, I don't know. I mean, hey, I, I was there for the whole grind time ever. And the beginning of the King of the Dot back when they had kids twisting all these niggas on their jack shit and all that. So I'm already used to niggas having jokes and shit like that. So it's like, I'm not just gonna run with the street shit. If I wanna say, but then again, it's like, ah, oh, it's weird, B, because it's like, Shug was fucking cooking. Like, I can fuck with Shug when he's on this shit like this. I just think he had a fucked up opponent, my nigga. Like, like, damn, I really do. Because you can't ignore Sharon bars. It's not like the nigga ain't have no bars. Come on, my nigga. Sharon was wild now. I see niggas saying Shug won. I'm not too mad. Shout out to Gibbs on Twitter and shit. I'm not too mad now. Now I'm not. I see what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Shug was really cooking. This nigga talking about, uh, uh, 
That what your life like? That shit is like damn near a verb showtime for him. Now, when he get into that mode, the shit is crazy because he be talking that real shit. When he be talking that gang shit, talking, I take a father from his son for this. I got jumped in for this. You know what I'm saying? That shit is fire. That's what, what you know about uh, wearing size 12, but you get a size 13. And, I mean, all that shit is dope. Don't get it fucked up. But when it comes to balance, Sharon, I still got to get, I got to get more than race jokes. You know what I'm saying? You got to come and like try to kill this nigga and embarrass this nigga because I actually think that you had him right where you wanted him. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people doubted Sharon anyway. But if you look like you should have known Sharon's going to come and come with some crazy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I could break the bar down, but then that'll make this shit go from 11 minute blog to a goddamn 18 minute blog. I don't want to do that to you niggas and shit. Me personally, I was wondering what Sharon this shit. But I think that Shook was fire. I just really think it was a bad matchup. The matchups matter, my nigga. Like, you can't just throw two names in there and think it's going to be a dope battle. I don't know how the fuck this matchup even happened anyway. It's not about URL because it was supposed to be on King of the Dots. The matchup just was weird to, to, to begin with. The matchup seemed weird to me and shit. It's a cool battle, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to watch it. I'm going to keep real true. Shook stuck it the fuck up, though. He did, but I just think that his opponent was just too much for him, man. Sharon was just too much for Sugar Mouth. I mean, he was just all over the fucking world where, as with Shook, you know the angle he coming with. You know it already. That's how I feel about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But I definitely think that Sugar stepped it up. I don't know what's going on with the time either. It just seems like Sugar's either short or Sharon's going way too long. But the, the time don't really seem equal and shit. And like, do I think some of Sharon's shit was gas? Definitely. I definitely do. But I still think he did enough. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of powerful bars up in that motherfucker. But me personally, I gave it to motherfucking Sharon 2 to 1. Let me know who you gave it to and why. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if I'm not, like, if you niggas say Shug, I'm not going to be mad at you niggas. I know why. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that. I know why. I like that street shit too. But I'm looking at the all around shit, my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I think that Sharon really held his own, man. Let me know what you think. I want to throw this shit out here real quick. Yo, this is what I'm going to do too. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Like, a lot of subjects I be covering on Angry Fans Radio with Three Letter Man Temple on Wing and shit. So, and I don't be talking about them shits here on this channel and shit. I be bugging the fuck out doing that shit. So, a lot of my blogs are going to be like this from that one where I'm covering a lot of shit. Shit that I already talked about on Angry Fans Radio, all kinds of shit to keep you niggas, you know what I'm saying, in the loops. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. And shout out to you niggas too, man. Just past a million views because of you niggas. That's the reason why it's a movement. I got something special for you niggas coming up, man. Real shit. You're going to be real happy with it. Fuck with your boy, Angry Fan 007, nigga. I'm out, nigga. Shout out to the whole VA, man. Fuck with me. One.